If you're looking in, Dennis, thank you for all your help. Uh, I got a great chance from RTE and I want to thank him very much uh, for giving me the opportunity to comment on a sport that I love, uh, full, filled with people that I admire. A lot of them are my friends. And uh, I must say, the late Tim O'Connor uh, was a great help to me. Uh, got me in it. It's 40 years. It's a long time to be doing that. And, and I've enjoyed every day of it. We have a great producer now in Ryan McCann and a good head of sport in Declan McBennett. Ryan, I know I've dropped you in a little bit here with this, <laughs> but at the same time, you'll understand there comes a time in everyone's life when they call it a day. Ruby called it a day pulling up here. So did Katie and Nina, and so did Puppy Power, and so is Ted Walsh. And I want to wish you all the best. I hope all of you that are working for RTE get as much kick out of it and get 40 years out of it. You'll all look a bit shooker in 40 years' time, but as much as I did. I loved it, and I had a great response. I got myself into a bit of hot water here and there, uh, but that happens on live television. I've enjoyed it, and uh, it's a great sport, a great game. It's been good to all of ye. It's been very good to me, and everyone connected with it. And thank you all very much, and thank RD. Well, you've caught us all on the hop. I can honestly say that every from everyone here, you have raised not only a generation, but multiple generations of race goers, just yourself and Robert Hall, watching you for longer than I've been alive. And I think I speak for all of us. And there's nobody talking in my ears. So obviously, the truck is completely uh, gobsmacked. What for you, uh, and I'd, indeed, Robert, what have been the standout moments? Ah, uh, great moments. Before I go off the air I can completely. Uh, I want to thank my family as well too. They've been great supporters of mine right through. And I've enjoyed the success that Ruby and Katie have had and Jennifer and Ted and, and their involvement in it as well too. And one per particular person is my partner for life, Helen. Uh, without her, I don't know what I would have done. And thanks, Helen. And that's all I can say. Absolutely. Say no She's a, all, of, all of the Walsh family from... Uh, from riding against them to working with them now, it's, it's, it's a real privilege. Look, I, I don't think it's any exaggeration, and we do exaggerate, and Ted is usually the one to rein us in when we exaggerate, but you are a legend of Irish broadcasting, and I will say maybe even a national icon, because when you go into broadcasting, you're there to do an, a job to inform the person at home so that they can make their own judgments. And I often watching Simon Cowell. I'd sit at home and he would say exactly what I'm thinking. It might be controversial, but it's true. And very often that's what you would do, where more people would be afraid to say it. And I hope, leading by your example, that we can follow through on that. Well, it might be, it might, people at home might think it's sudden, but I went to Cheltenham to write Attitude Adjuster in the Fox Hunters with the view that I might stop at, Chel at Punchestown here the following April. And when I was walking back down the shoot, I said, this is as good a time as any. And standing here with ye and a great meeting here with Cheltenham at Punchestown, a place I love. I've been coming here since 1961 when my first time came here with my dad and mam. And there's no better place. It's, I'll be coming here again unless the Lord takes me. And uh, if he does, they can split me ashes on Ruby's double. Uh, again, it's great. Lovely. Thanks very much. And I'm 